1998, Joel and Ethan Coen released The Big Lebowski, the brothers' first film since their Oscar-winning Fargo. Lebowski didn't fare as well as his predecessor in the box office, but over time the film developed a following and a reputation as the Coen's best work. Somewhere along the way, Lebowski earned the title of a cult classic, so the Loft Cinema decided to celebrate the 10-year anniversary of the film in true cult fashion. The night started with a parody of a scene from the film, The Dirty Undies Toss. If you hit the cone, you win one free pass to the loft in a Lebowski coaster. And then this guy showed up. The dude. It's all attitude. It feels very realistic. Ah. Ah. He's doing it over the last time. But you almost got it on this one. Steven Dotson, dude! Come on, dude! In line with the movie, in which the Coens turned bowling into the most beautiful sport imaginable, the Nintendo Wii was set up for fans to roll. But none of these events compare to the fandom displayed in the costume contest. Just walk up and say a line from the film and have applause heaped upon you. Just to give me a little of your philosophy, your dude philosophy, do you have any? Uh, well, I mean, in the parlance of our times, I mean, come on, man. <laughs> Very easy to follow you, thank you. Well, you know, I'm just keeping it easy, you know. Uh, abide as well as I can. The dude abides. The dude abides. Oh, that rug really ties the room together. <laughs> Jeff Yance, the Loft's director, he sums up the reason why this film has had such an impact on its viewers. Uh, we've also learned a few lessons from The Big Lebowski. We've learned that the right rug can tie a room together. We've uh, learned that a marmot is just a fancy name for a ferret. We've learned that nihilists and pedophiles can actually be very funny in the right context. And we've learned that some people just will not roll on Shabbos, no matter what. <laughs> so, this is why I like The Big Lebowski. Life lessons learned from Lebowski. So without further ado... I do! Fuck it, dude, let's roll. <laughs> Yance walked off stage, the lights went dim, and the movie started. audience laughed throughout the film. Nothing reached the level of what you'd expect to see in some type of cult setting. There was no yelling of quotes, no answers or responses to questions posed by the characters, just simply a good laugh for a good film. 